breaking in the journey of new shoes hello everyone welcome back to our channel where we dive into the fascinating world of the english language today we're exploring a very common phrase that often puzzles language learners breaking in the shoes it's a phrase you might have heard in conversations or read in books and today we're going to unravel its meaning together so let's lace up and step into this journey when we talk about breaking in the shoes we're referring to the process of wearing new shoes to make them more comfortable new shoes can often be stiff and uncomfortable at first possibly causing blisters or discomfort the act of breaking them in involves wearing them for short periods over time which gradually softens the material and molds the shoes to the shape of your feet, leading to a more comfortable fit. You might wonder why breaking in new shoes is even necessary. The truth is, not all shoes need to be broken in. However, shoes made from certain materials, like leather, often require a break-in period to enhance their comfort and flexibility. This process prevents the potential pain and discomfort that can come from wearing new shoes for extended periods right away. By breaking in your shoes, you're essentially customizing the fit to your own feet. Breaking in your shoes doesn't have to be a painful process. Here are a few tips to make it smoother. Start by wearing your new shoes for short periods at home. Gradually increase the time as they become more comfortable. Use thick socks to stretch the shoes slightly and provide a cushion against blisters. Apply a softening agent or conditioner to leather shoes to help soften the material. Use shoe stretchers overnight to gently stretch the material, especially if the shoes are just a bit too tight. While breaking in your shoes, there are a few pitfalls to avoid. Don't wear new shoes for long periods or on long walks right away. This can lead to discomfort and blisters. Avoid using heat, like a hairdryer, to stretch the material, as this can damage some shoes. Don't ignore severe discomfort. Shoes that are too small or improperly fitted might not break in comfortably, regardless of effort. We hope this journey through the process of breaking in the shoes has been enlightening. Remember, the goal is to make your new shoes as comfortable as an old pair, ensuring that every step you take is a comfortable one. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing for more English language tips and tricks. Until next time, keep stepping forward in your language learning journey.